What's up everyone? We're going to work on a photography scenario. We got our beautiful daughter out here. I, she's modeling for me. I got this tree. We have some sun out. We're shooting with natural light. I want to get this tree though and I want it to have some bokeh in the background. What am I going to do with my settings? So we're going to start off ISO as low as we can go. We got a 100. We're at 3.5. Shutter speed 200. What happens when we shoot? We see there. Not much going on. There's no bokeh. That's not what we want. So we go down to 1.2. Shoot that image again. What do we see? Crap, we're overexposed. How do we fix that? What are we going to do? What do we change? We're going to have to change that shutter speed. And we're going to have to probably go pretty crazy. Let's go up to 1600. Aya, come up and move closer for me. We're going to take this image one more time right here. Focus on her. Boom. Now what do we got? We got that beautiful bokeh. She's a little overexposed. So we can bump up that shutter speed one more time. 2000. And bam, we got that bokeh we wanted. So we see here how we can change our settings to get the images we want. We just gotta make sure we understand our settings so we can make sure and get that, that bokeh we're looking for shooting in natural light because we're gonna have to understand these settings. So that's our first one we're gonna talk about today is understanding our settings, how we can get bokeh even under a well-lit day. We're gonna have to change the shutter speed. So I just want to go ahead and show you the final image we created here. We see with the bokeh we're able to create, we took out you know some of that nasty house in the background, made that tree look really nice. Again, our subject, she looks wonderful. She's clear, using that natural light, using that very low f-stop 1.2 on the 85 millimeter lens. We were able to get this wonderful image, simple, but has that beautiful bokeh in the background while she's still crisp and clear. Amazing looking image. Compared to our other one, we see the higher f-stop. You can see the house in the background, trees all in focus. Just not quite the same effect, not quite as beautiful, not what we're going for. So again, looking at how we can create that bokeh in the natural light, creates a beautiful image that will help you stand out. 